3D Butterfly Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. We're going to be forming the smile line with cover pink, so first dip your brush in monomer, and then you're going to want to pull the excess monomer out of the back of your brush so that you have a nice stiff acrylic that you can form the way you want so it has a nice perfect smile line. So then press that against the area where you want the nail bed to be and form a nice rounded smile line. And since this is a stiletto shaped nail, I want the smile line to be very deep. Add a wetter bead to the back and then smooth that over so that you have a nice rounded shape. So now I'm going to be filing the cover pink that we just did once it's hardened. And this is just going to make sure that that smile line is smooth and perfectly curved from side to side. For the background, I'm going to be applying kind of a glittery purple and a glittery aqua color. So I'm going to start with the purple and I'm going to press that up towards the smile line. And as you can see, this has some really big bar type glitter. Um, it's got all sorts of kinds of glitter. I wanted the background to just be very sparkly. And when you get lower, when you get, or towards the middle, I should say, you're going to want to apply both of your colors um, over that area so that they blend and, like, fade from one into the next. And the glitter is also going to help hide the transition area because, well, all glitter is glitter. So now cover that area, all that tip, with clear acrylic. And you want to make sure that for the tip that you do cover it with clear, even if you did build up the colors underneath it up to the same level as your cover pink. Just because glitter, especially the bigger types of glitter like I used, are going to want to like stick up and stick through. So this clear is just going to seal them in and make sure that the nail is smooth and so that once you start doing the 3D art and the painting on it, that it's easy and it looks flawless. So now I'm going to be filing my nail until it is smooth. And I think, I, I can never be sure, I'm pretty sure this is a 100 grit file that I'm using. And when you're filing it, I like to run my finger over the top edge just to feel if there's any bumps or anything. So now I'm going to be removing the scratches that that other one decided to leave behind, because they always do, with a padded file. And this one is 240 grit. So now to make the butterfly, I'm going to be using yellow, or not yellow, I'm sorry, orange and pink. Um, so I'm first going to dip the, um, the brush into the orange, and then I'm going to drag it through the pink. So this is going to give two colors on the same bead of acrylic. So then um, flatten out that bead into almost like a petal shape and I'm going to have the point of the petal go along the smile line. And then press your brush against it to almost create like a wave or a roughly look along the edge. So now I'm going to do the lower wing. So pink and then orange. And when you place the bead onto the nail, you can kind of look to see where the orange is and where the pink is. So then you can place it where you want the colors to be. I wanted my orange to be closer to where her body is going to be, so I made sure that to set them down that way. So the lower wing is going to be a little bit smaller, or the lower section of the wing. And instead of making it roughly, I'm just going to jab the point of the brush up in towards um, right where the two connect, and this will give it sort of a different type of shape. So then I'm taking a smaller bead, and I'm going to be stretching that one down along the edge of both of the sections of her wings, and this will create her body. So I'm basically just making a long, thin line of acrylic. And then grab a small bead for her head and place it just right above that line we just made. And then flatten it a bit into a circle. So 
So now I'm going to be switching to acrylic paint, and so I'm going to start with black, and I'm going to add just some two little curls, two thin little curls for her antenna. So now I'm going to line her wings, and as you're doing this, you can do the same way that I did, the same pattern as I did, or you can just mix it up and do it your own way. So for what I'm going to do is I'm going to first line the edge, and then where I press the brush in to create the ruffles, I'm going to outline the highest point, so the part where the acrylic is the thickest. And then I'm also going to line the top edge of her wing. And you're going to want to create these little tiny triangles where the lines connect. And this is going to give you some space to put white dots later. So you're going to want to make sure that you leave enough space where you can do some details within those little triangles. So now I'm going to um, line the opposite. I'm going to line the thinnest part of the acrylic on her lower wing. So create more of a shadow. And now just because the nail is never complete without more swirls, I'm going to add some to almost like where she's been flying. So I'm just going to add some down below and then along the tip of the nail. And I'm just going to continue adding little decorative lines and swirls wherever I think that there's an empty space where they need to be. And when you add these lines, the first thing you're going to do is get a decent sized drop of paint on the very tip of the brush and set that down on the end that you want the thickest and then drag it towards where you drag it in the direction that you want it to go and lift up on the pressure of the brush. This will create a tapered line into a little point. And so now, as I mentioned, I'm just going to take white paint and I'm going to add little spots inside those triangles where the lines of the black connect. And now I'm going to be highlighting. So I'm going to go along each black line that we created on her wings. And then I'm also just going to highlight where I think it would, where I think the light would hit it. So on her head and along her body. This is just going to give it more dimension without creating extra thickness on the nail. So then I'm also going to be highlighting the swirls. And when you do this, you want to imagine where the light is hitting and hit everything on that side. So if you're highlighting the left side of your lines, highlight the left side on all of them. And so now I'm going to be top coating with a glossy top coat around the butterfly, not over the top of everything that's three dimensional. So I'm going to top coat over her antenna, but just not over the pink and the orange acrylic that we built up with. And then using a matte top coat, go over all of the three dimensional butterfly parts. And here are some other designs that you can check out the playlist of my acrylic art to see more. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my design. Please share your recreations with me on Facebook and Twitter. I always love to see them. They're gorgeous. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.